As you know, the Bush administration has, the, has a, a wealth of last-minute regulations that is trying to get finalized before the new Barack Obama administration comes in. And as, as the Bush administration knows, many of those regulations are opposed by the new administration. So what they are in effect doing is imposing a major political burden on the new coming administration to, to uh, eliminate those rules. I think the Bush administration shouldn't do that. I think the Bush administration should be very sensitive to all the problems facing the new administration that's coming in right now and do everything it can to lessen its workload and not increase its workload. So therefore, what I think this Bush administration should do, if it's really caring about the process of transition, is to cut these rules off themselves before they come final. And I think we need to emphasize that what, what we're talking about here isn't a partisan issue. The problem is that when, each, when, when the Republicans take power, they use all the power they have available to the maximum of their abilities, and so do the Democrats do. And what's, what's been lost in the process is the appropriate balance. I think President Obama will be focused on, on restoring the balance. I've been encouraged by the fact that some of the people who are looking at transition at the Justice Department are people concerned with these issues. But the fact is that our constitutional structure doesn't support and didn't envision this much power vested in one individual, and I think it's something we need to address. You know, Congress, Congressman Emanuel is probably one of the three most powerful people in Congress, and it's likely he was only going to gain more power as the years went by. What it means for him to resign that position in Congress and move over to be a, literally a staffer in the White House says so much about where the real power is in this country. And I think it's a bad message to send. I mean, the framers would have been shocked at the idea that somebody would leave that kind of position of power to become a White House staffer. But I really think it shows how, how the balance is, uh, is no longer there. The framers of the Constitution, James Madison and others, thought that the legislature was the most powerful branch. They would be completely surprised by the notion that one of the most powerful members of the legislative branch would leave their position to become literally a White House staffer. And I think this shows just how serious the imbalance has become between the presidency and the Congress, where literally everybody sees all the important decisions taking place at the White House end of Pennsylvania Avenue and not at the other side. The framers would have been surprised, and they wouldn't have appreciated this, because in their mind what you needed a, was a balance of power and not too much power vesting in one institution.